yeah! Hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You're watching another episode of Exploring Music. Today's a special episode. I'm going to be reviewing the Boss Wireless System for the guitar, the WL60. So get ready. Check it out! Hey guys, yeah, so um, I've, you know, I'm not going to be playing this in this one because, you know, it's like it's a wireless system, it's not a changing the tone of the guitar, even though there is some settings that will make it sound as though you've got a cable in it and all that with the buttons on the, the actual receiver. When I first started, I wanted to see how user friendly it was because there's only a couple buttons on the receiver and you got a couple buttons on the transmitter. So it was just like push scan, had it on, push scan, it did its thing, boom, it came up and it was like, yeah, I didn't even bother with the manual. So it came up and so I, off I went because the guitar was coming through, sounding good. Um, now for my electric setup, I actually run it through quite a few pedals and all that. So I have the cable tone on none because it's like it's running through enough cable as it is so I just set my sound that way but of course if you wanted to have it as though you've plugged into your system and then into the amp and that you can to be honest it's sort of like the audio files uh, will really pick up on that but your average person isn't really even going to notice a difference so there's that you know, you, you fiddle with a couple knobs on the amp and like I said, the average person isn't even going to notice the difference. But of course, as guitar players, our tunes everything. So you want to fiddle and, and try and get things just right. So that's for those people that can hear a difference, even though it's microscopic. Uh, the unit was, responded awesome, like I said. I just pushed a couple buttons and got it working, you know, it's, it's got scan on it, so you push scan while that's on and it does this thing, reads between the two and it came up, found the best frequency out of I think the 14 frequencies that's on it and I was off and playing. It was that simple. So thumbs up for boss on that one, it's just, you don't even need the manual, just start pushing buttons and it comes up and it's working. Uh, so that is a total bonus. Like I said in the unboxing video, it's, the transmitter is really light. The cord that goes from the transmitter is really durable. Um, and it was really good. Now, when I was looking online and reading a couple things, they said the distance is about 50 to 60 feet. So I'd, I think that's around the 20 meter mark. Now, that's all right, you know, it's like most people on a, you know, even a large stage isn't 20 meters for most people, you know, most people that are using it. But what I did find, because I have my whole setup in this room that I'm shooting this in, and this is actually in the front of my house. So I cranked up the amp so I could hear it, and I went for a walk. And I went through the house, out the back door, all the way to my back fence. And I could still, I was playing along, I could still hear it. And I decided, well hang on, how far is this actually? Because it said 50 to 60 feet. And I'm like, I'm sure I've gone more than 50 to 60 feet. Well I got the tape measure out, and it works out, I worked out, I, I walked out about, 35 to 38 meters, so close to 40. I think it was closer to 40. I think it was like something like 38 meters, so we'll say 40. Now I did a quick conversion for those of you guys in the States that are using Imperial, and that's about 130 something feet. I think there's 131 feet. So it's actually doubled than what it actually says. And that is with the receiver inside the other side of the house. So, um, yeah, I, that, I was wrapped. 
So you're talking 40 meters at least. Now, I, I'd say that they say 50 feet or around 20 meter mark, I guess. They say that so that the circumstances could vary. I guess if there's a lot of uh, stuff going on in the air, you know, because like different areas with all the stuff we got, like Wi-Fi and phone signals and other wireless systems running and all that sort of stuff, I guess that could restrict and um, and interfere. So yeah, so I, I assume it could interfere with it, but it was a pretty good day. But like I said, the receiver was in the front room at the front of the house. I walked through the house, which is sort of like another room and a lounge room, a kitchen, and then out into the backyard. And I kept going way down the back because we've got a fairly large backyard and I was just playing along and I could still hear it not a problem and there was no jumps or you know it was just yahoo so that is a real bonus so you can get at, at least up to 40 meters with this unit now of course the really expensive units that are like a thousand dollars for the wireless systems you know, a lot of those ones go a hundred meters. Um, they they say that they're at least a hundred meters in that. But and this one, I you know, it says fifty to sixty feet, which is around twenty meters, somewhere around there. Um, I guess that's just being safe. But for most people, would be like, yeah, well, I'm not going to be going too far away, and it's a relatively inexpensive unit in that regard but it was a good surprise to know i could go so far because especially when you're playing in a club and you want to go out into the audience and you want to walk around in that you know she's got some power so that was another thumbs up boss awesome job one of the drawbacks i have with it is this flimsy little piece of metal let's see if i can get the camera to focus 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 can you see that flimsy little piece of metal? That's what holds, that's what holds it to you. Obviously, it's a belt clip. You put it on your belt or put it on your pocket or even, you know, maybe even in your pocket and that's okay. And if you're just gonna stand on stage, no dramas, but. Ha ha, got a guitar. So now, like I said, if you've got it in your pocket or on your belt, not gonna be an issue. But that's only if you're gonna stand around. If you're gonna be lifting your guitar up and you know, definitely flicking it around, that's something you're not gonna be doing if it's on your pocket and that. So obviously a lot of people, they hook the wireless to the guitar strap. So let's have a look with this flimsy little thing. So boom. Let's try and get this thing focusing. Ah. It, I don't know if you can see it properly with the light. It really isn't on there properly and it's side on so it doesn't really hold. So I'd say You'd have to sort of put a bit of gaff tape around it to try and hold the strap on to it. And that's a bit of a drawback because, you know, even on a thicker part of a strap, say that you had a thick strap that goes all the way around, it's not real, like it's on there, you know, especially if you push it up a bit more. Now that's pretty secure in that sense. Cool. So if you're just gonna stand around, it ain't it shouldn't be too much of a drama. Just clipped onto your thing. But I'd still put some sort of tape on it. And that may affect the range as well. Like if you're covering up something, it might not. I don't know exactly where the antenna part is on in the system so if you're going to tape it somewhere be careful um, I'll have to play around with that a bit more but boss 
if you're listening, I'm telling you, if you're listening, don't worry about that. Take it off. Put on a Velcro strap. Just put, attach a strap that we can Velcro around a guitar strap or around a belt. Because really, if you're gonna dangle that off, like, like I said, this is a thin, wiry thing. This isn't as strong. I do not want this just clipped over my pocket on the outside. So I'm either gonna put it in my pocket or I'm gonna put it on my, maybe on my belt, you know, with between, so that's in between the belt and the jeans. But I'm not gonna hook that on a pocket and have that dangling out the back. Because this is one thing that did happen, is it did come out. Because this is really flimsy. So, if you're listening, boss, put a Velcro strap on it. That would be amazing. But I can't complain of this. This is unreal. I'm loving it. That's just one idea. But, well, I'm just being aware, because I move around on stage. That's part of the reason why I didn't want the WL50 or the WL20. Because their range is pretty short. I, I've seen videos of a few people using them and they don't get that far. So, I, like I said, I was expecting the same range with this. I'm wrapped that it's actually a lot further. You know, and the signal sounded pretty good. I reckon I could probably even push it to 50 meters. And so, I'd like to try that out one day. But, I don't want just some little dongle hanging out the port there when I'm moving around. So I like to move around, and that's why I was thinking this would clip on really securely, I'd assume, to the strap, which if I'm just gonna stand there, it's fine. It is, you know, I can stand there and play with it there. But for a gig purpose, I would definitely be attaching this somehow to my strap for safety. Um, maybe a bit of gaff tape taping it on there. But where's the problem in that? If I switch guitars, go from electric to acoustic, or just switching between electrics, then I have to untape this from the strap. But, you know, like, luckily for me, I've got lock straps on. This is the way I'll, I'll get around it with the electrics because the electrics all have the lock connectors. I use this one strap so I can keep this attached to the electric. But there are gigs where I want to go to an acoustic and the acoustic is a different setup because it doesn't have a locking mechanism on the back. So it's a totally different strap I use for my acoustic. And then I'd have to undo it all to put this onto my acoustic. So that is the one drawback I have found. I can't complain with this thing. This thing's unreal. Totally wrapped. Um, now, if you saw the unboxing, <coughs> I did mention how I have, I have the wireless, then the tuner, and then goes into the compressor. And I was talking about how I don't like the batteries in the wireless system. Because if you lose power, there's no point to it anyway. But I did say that hopefully if I plug a lead in, because I was talking about tuning up before I get the gear on stage, I have a battery in my tuner. I have a battery in my tuner so that I can tune up the guitars off stage. And I was hoping that with the lead input on the receiver that it would bypass through and it would still activate the tuner unfortunately that's not the case so definitely you need batteries in it to activate it if you're going to do it without the ac adapter so that's no dramas i even mentioned that in the unboxing it's like well worst case scenario i'll just um unhook the tuner quickly tune up and which is what I've done already. But, you know, if I've got time on stage, get on stage, plug it in. You can plug a lead in with it, with it plugged in and it goes straight into the tuner, not a drama. So, sweet. So, yeah, the, you need batteries in or you need power to the unit, whether it's uh, the AC adapter or through the batteries to actually use the lead jack part of it as well so but is that really a drama it's like you know like I said it was just so I could tune off before I cut everything on to the stage you know in turnover situations so it, it, that's the drawback this little 
piddly thing here, which I, I think this is a big one. So boss, if you listen, get onto it. Put it, have a Velcro strap there that we could just like hook it on, Velcro, psh, done. It's just hooked on. Um, even if you had it un underneath, it had, still had the clip, but had it underneath so you could clip it and then Velcro it. So, heh heh. Don't forget me if you do decide to do that. But yeah, that would just give us some security with the, the system. But I cannot fault this system, it's, it's great. And especially for the price, it's like, you know, it's half the price of most wireless systems for instruments. And the sound was good, the sound was clean. And there was no lag time, you know, and that, that's one thing that I noticed they did actually talk about. There was no lag time, which was really cool. Uh, because some units they're a bit slow and they and boss have worked hard to get those down I can't remember the numbers offhand but um, I know they worked hard to get it right down to low milliseconds uh, and so yeah it's just like having your guitar plugged in with a lead it's just fantastic so yes the boss WL60 wireless system I highly recommend it and I can't wait, you know, it lasts pretty good. So yeah, no, no qualms here, unless you're going to be walking up the other end of a football field while you're playing. You know, then if you're gonna do that, then maybe this isn't for you because you're gonna want 100 meters at least. Uh, but for 99.999% of your situations, I'd say, this will do the job for you. Unless you're a Keith Urban that runs around the stadium with a guitar. So yeah. So this is something I can highly recommend. Definitely check it out. And yeah, Boss, if you want me to check out anything else, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not being paid by Boss either. Um, yeah, this was something that I, I needed a wireless system I looked at a bunch and they were really expensive, like 800 plus. Uh, a lot of them were just over the thousand mark. And yeah, this is a lot more inexpensive and awesome. So check it out. Anyway guys, I'm Mark Show. I hope you've enjoyed that. Hit like, hit subscribe, notification bell if you wanna see the new ones, new videos come up. And of course, I gotta say thank you to Conceptual Creative who just keep supporting me and you know, I cannot thank them enough. The thing will be up on the screen here. So check them out, give them some love because they help me do the, these videos. And yeah, like I said boss, I'm here. If you wanna send me any gear to review, just send it this way. <laughs> yeah, but I know a few of you guys have asked me to review this and you because you're interested in what it's like so i hope that helped and yeah you don't need anything fancy just that it hit the button like i said you don't even need to read the manual just, just, you know of course i checked it out afterwards but i'm just saying it's a no-brainer system can't ask for more than that anyway guys i'm mark show i hope you enjoyed that video until next time subscribe and notification bell gotta get in come on help me build this channel guys Okay, till next time, see ya!